Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be classifying the groups which are having the order 2p, right? Where p is some prime number. So here we have, we already know that for any prime p, where this p is obviously greater than 2, the groups z 2p, right? This is a, a group under addition modulo 2p, right? and dp this is a dihedral group of order 2p right they are non isomorphic groups of order 2p they are not isomorphic to each other right so is there any possible way in which we can classify the groups of order 2p yes there is how is that so so in order to answer this question over here we have a theorem it states that if we take g as any group which is having order 2p where p is some prime number which is greater than 2 right this is this would be our assumption then they would say this group g is either isomorphic to the group z 2p or it is isomorphic to dp right so this is the result now because they both of them they are not isomorphic to each other so this g is either isomorphic to this if it is not so then this would be isomorphic to the dihedral group having order 2p right so in, uh, in order to prove the result here let us assume that g is some group of order 2p where p is some prime number which is greater than 2 right in addition to this we also assume that g does not have an element which is of order 2p right we are assuming that it does not have an element which is of order 2p because we know order of element divides order of group order of group here is uh, this 2p so we are assuming that no element here has order 2p all have order which is less than 2p so what we we, uh, we would be doing here we will show that g is isomorphic to dp if we wanted to prove that g is isomorphic to either this or this so we will be proving that g is isomorphic to this dihedral group of order 2p so in order to do that we first of all show that this group g it must have an element which is of order p right so how can we do that you know the order of an element divides the order of group now uh, whatever is our element it would uh, its order would divide 2p what are the divisors of 2p you you see uh, here 2 divides 2p p divides 2p so we have only two options here one is the number 2 one is the number p right so therefore according to our assumption and according to lagrange's theorem we know that any non identity element of g must have order either p2 or it would have order just p right so in order to verify our assertion uh, that uh, we wanted to prove that every element of g must have element which would be of order p we assume that every non-identity element of g has order 2 so we take uh, that uh, we consider that every element has order 2 and we would reach at some contradiction in order to prove that we would we are actually having the order p so when we consider that every element here is of or, uh, consisting of order 2 so we consider two such elements within the group right a and b now because we are assuming the order of a b is 2 so that means a b whole square is equal to identity so from here we have a b is equal to a b inverse correct so you can write a b is equal to a b inverse and then using the reversal property you have b inverse a inverse and because again b is some member of g so b square is also e and because a is some member of uh, g so therefore its order is also 2 so a square is e so this one implies b is equal to b inverse and this implies a is equal to a inverse so using this thing here we have b a so from here you have a b is equal to b a if a b is equal to b a for each element in the group g then the group has to be an abelian group
right if this is an abelian group so for non identity elements a and b which we have considered from this group where they are different numbers different uh, elements then the set consisting of the identity element the element a the element b and their product ab right so this uh, they uh, this set is closed by because when we perform the operation e into a it would just be a e into b it would just be b e into a b it would just be a b a into b that would be a b which is present in this right then a into a b so what would it be you can solve this and so you see a square b and a square is e so you have b so you see uh, whenever you compose any two elements within this set you would have it back within the set so closure property is satisfied here hence the set is closed set and this forms the subgroup of the g and the you see there are four elements present within this set so therefore the order here is four right so that means this forms a subgroup and by lagrange's theorem we know the order of subgroup divides the order of group the order of group is 2p so we are saying 4 divides 2p so obviously 4 cannot divide 2p why because here in this case we divide we, we are saying 2 divides p, p because you can write 4 as 2 into 2 right so it divides 2 so this 2 and 2 cancel so that means 2 divides p and you have p as a prime number which is greater than 2 so there is a contradiction here if we have a contradiction here so that means whatever was our assumption it was incorrect we have assumed that every element of g has order 2 this is not correct so that means what is correct so that means this part is rejected so we are only left with the order p so therefore each element in g must have order p so therefore it contradicts the Lagrange's theorem and hence we have proved that the group G must have an element which is of order P, right? So let's call that element as A, right? 